Welcome back to another video, everyone. My name is Kyle. I am a full-time options trader and founder of Opinicus Holdings, the premier options trading community and education provider. Today, we have a quick video looking at seven individual stocks that could be poised for a short squeeze. If you don't know what a short squeeze is, basically, it just implies that there are a lot of shorts piled up in this particular stock. There is a high short interest is what it's known as. As the stocks rise in price, the shorts are then losing money and it can force them to cover, which would be buying the stock back either for a win or for a loss, which inherently pushes the price even higher. So the first one that we have here is BYND. This is Beyond Meat. Just recently reported earnings. We have massive volume shown on the daily chart here. Basically, I'm just going to go through the charts, offer some quick targets. Again, this is not financial advice. This is not a recommendation to buy. This is purely for educational content. And if you are a trader, maybe you wanna keep your eyes on these setups and see how they play out. So back into it, first one is BYND. This particular stock has 37% short interest. So what I'm gonna be looking for here is a continuation of this move that we saw most recently. Basically, I like to see strength through 40. And ideally what we'll be looking for is a quick test into this lower high with potentially an ultimate target of this zone right here in 50 and maybe maybe this is a bit of a stretch but maybe up into 60 that puts us about uh if we if we get into 50 that puts us about 30 percent higher in the underlying which is an absolutely massive move uh, something to be watching for in bynd Next up, what we have is going to be Chewy. This particular stock has 22% short interest. The setup, in my opinion, is not as strong here. We are trading near uh, the year-to-date volume point of control. So this looks at volume uh, through price rather than volume through time, which is what we see down here. So we've got a lot of volume in this 44, 43 area. Volume recently has not been that strong. Basically on this one, similar type of setup in that I'm just looking for continued strength in this. I believe we do have a declining 200 MA right through here. Yeah, so you probably wanna see strength through the 200 MA. Then you can go for upward targets of 50, 52 area, potentially even 60. No secrets here, just looking at the lower high pivots as some potential targets for these stocks. Following Chewy, we have Carvana. CVNA is the ticker here. This particular stock, again, has 37% short interest. That was the same as our BYND. You can see the absolute massive, massive volume that was done uh, on the most recent trading day. That is perhaps the largest volume in the stock's history. If we go back, yeah, it's definitely the largest volume in the stock's history uh, for a single day. We do also have, again, looking at volume profile, that's volume through price. We do have a big base here, right through here, right in this 25 area. The chart is a bit distorted. Uh, because it is showing these moving averages. So if I take these off, we may get a cleaner picture and we're down. I mean, this thing is down what we're down as of the recent close, we're down 87% in this stock. And so you have a lot of short interest here and basically a massive move. What I wanna see is simply continuation of this move. This is a This is a very bullish bar. If we could see continued strength through 47 or 50, uh, there's not there's not a lot of volume. If we look again, just looking at volume uh, through price rather than through time, there's not a lot of volume in this decline. And so you can really see a pretty explosive move in this stock, something to be watching for sure. One thing about Carvana, if you are an options trader, this one does have pretty illiquid options. 
I think that's going to be the case for most of the stocks in this list. So if you are an options trader, make sure you are double checking the spread of the options that you're trading, liquidity, things like that all makes a difference in whether or not we were able to enter and more importantly, exit these trades with whatever profit that we may have captured. And so for this one, watch watch 50, you potentially go just looking at again, volume profile here, you potentially go for 60, 70 uh, for a stretch target. I'd like to get it up back into 100. That puts us up 100% in the underlying. Again, just a massive move, but these short squeeze candidates do have a tendency to put in uh, pretty outsized moves simply because uh, when you have massive short interest, in this case we have 37%, paired with a good technical setup, it can be a recipe for uh, some pretty some pretty explosive moves there. So something to keep in mind, this is similar in nature. If you were trading in 2020, uh, the kind of action that we saw in 2019 and 2020. So following Carvana, we have uh, this biotech company, EDIT. This one, 24% short interest, still really high. Definitely not as high as the BYND or the Carvana setup here. Again, not as strong. Definitely two favorites so far, the BYND and the Carvana, CVNA. Edit, this is another one I'm gonna be keeping an eye on just in case. Um, again, similar to Chewy, we are trading near this kind of year to date volume point of control. What I'd like to see here is some strength. Uh, ideally, you know, above 20, above this little zone here, we could go for 22, potentially 25, and maybe even 30, depending on how explosive these things get. This is again higher time frame setups. I'm talking about, you know, over the next few days, potentially the next few weeks is unlikely that these targets are hit in a single day. So just something to keep in mind, just giving broad targets here. Uh, so you have some time to watch these ideas for potential entries and maybe trade them repeatedly. Following that one, we have everyone's heard of GME GameStop. Short interest here, 23%. Setup is pretty good. This stock is highly watched, of course. Um, I'd like to see strength through that 40, just those recent highs there, and we could potentially go for 44, maybe even 50. Uh, just trading in a really wide range here, so maybe even beyond that, up into 60, up into these highs here. This one, again, not a favorite but we have to keep an eye on it simply because the setup is pretty strong. The options in this one among all these stocks probably going to be the best simply because it is so uh, widely watched and widely traded. That is GME watch 40 for 50 and potentially 60. Following GameStop, we have Lemonade LMND short interest here, 31% massive. And so basically the setup here, we've got a pretty long base going on since late February. We're starting to come up and out of that base. Unfortunately, we do have earnings on August 8th. So that is going to potentially change the dynamics of this setup. But assuming we don't have too explosive of a move overnight with the earnings report, I do want to see Strength through 25, we'll go for this high volume node right here into 30 and beyond 30, we've got 35 and we could probably start to get into the 40, 44, 42 area. So another one that has the potential to actually double in a fairly short amount of time. And then finally, the last chart we are gonna be looking at here is UPST. This one has 35% short interest. And so again, similar to Lemonade, unfortunately it does have earnings on the eighth after hours. So that does have the potential uh, to ruin the idea that we are looking at here, a, 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 
a massive gap in either direction can kind of throw off the setup. But essentially what we have here is a lot of volume being done in this price area. I like to see it up through 30, testing 35, testing 40, potentially 50, and then above 50. If you're familiar with the gap fill setup, basically we go for the gap fill, which puts it into 70. And so that course another massive move in the stock 140 uh, percent something to potentially watch for again this one has 35 percent short interest so those are the seven short squeeze names that you want to have on your list for the next few days and next few weeks hope you guys found this video helpful if you want to see how we're actually going to be trading these things how i'm actually going to be trading these things join us in the traders think tank you have a 14-day trial for one dollar there is a link to that below i will see you in the next video thanks so much for watching